Evan here with Hopper Music Works. Today I want to talk about the topic of overplaying. What does it mean? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? So overplaying is just when you're either playing way too many fills or different licks on a guitar. Uh, this is not something that's only a guitar thing. Any instrument can overplay. A drummer can play way too many fills. Bass player could just be all over the place, just like a guitar player. And even for vocals, we've all seen American Idol and how some people do things during their auditions where they're doing these crazy vocal runs that they don't need to do. It's a kind of a way to show people like, I know how to do this. I know how to play this instrument. Watch me do this crazy thing. And it falls flat sometimes when you do it too much or too often it doesn't have any staying power it's like okay we get it you can play what you need to do is try to serve the song that's the reason that overplaying would be bad we need to serve the song we need to make sure that we're supporting the other instruments if we have like a solo or a section where we're leading the song in a melody that's really important so that intro jam track I got from Elevated Jam Tracks, that's their YouTube channel. They have a lot of really, really good jam tracks for guitar. They let you know what scales you should play in to make it sound the best. It's really, really useful and they sound really good. Um, in that track, I was trying not to overplay. I was trying to support the track that he had made and just tastefully play over that. So I wasn't playing super fast. I wasn't playing a lot of notes and I was also letting those notes kind of ring out for a little while which helps the track come through so it's not just me playing over the track it's the track also being involved in the decisions that I make it also gives me some time to think about what I want to do next now so far it kind of seems like overplaying is something that should never be done and that's not true it should be used whenever you're practicing or jamming. And this could be in a song context. Maybe there's a section of the song where it's like, hey, just improvise something. It's very important to uh, practice anything that you're trying to learn a lot because you're going to need to know how to put it into something tastefully. And you're not just going to know how to do that on the first try that you learn that like sweet picking lick or something like that. If you don't land on your feet and it sounds pretty bad, you can just look at your other bandmates or just think, I'm, that's okay, I was just practicing. So to sum it up, overplaying can be bad when we're not serving the song and we're kind of just saying, hey, everybody, look at me, look at all these things I can do when it's in, in an appropriate time to do that. And overplaying can be a good thing when we're using it in our practice or just jamming with people when it's supposed to be just a fun time. And it's not necessarily a song that is really constructed and has concrete ideas. So I'll end the video off with another playthrough of this jam track where I am going to try to overplay and just have some fun with it. Um, it's probably going to be a lot of mistakes and times where I don't land on my feet. I'm going to keep everything in there so you can kind of see how I might approach um, Working through those mistakes, trying to make it seem like there aren't any, that's a great thing to do with practicing over playing. If I make a mistake, how do I land back on my feet? Anyways, let's get to playing. <laughs> 